Well, it is National Nutrition Month, and this year with a personalized Your Plate theme. And tonight's Healthy You, I speak with a United Regional Dietitian who has some small changes in your diet that could make a big difference. In one 12 ounce soda, you have about um, two and a half tablespoons of sugar. That is a lot of sugar, and it adds up. Three Cokes in a day, you have enough sugar to fill up almost a half cup. I always say if a diet worked, we would only have one. We wouldn't need 500. Fad diets and extreme weight loss methods only create a recipe for disaster. That's one reason United Regional Clinical Nutrition Manager and outpatient dietitian Andrea Grassi is promoting National Nutrition Month's Personalize Your Plate theme. I really like this theme because everyone is so different. We're all unique. We have different goals, different backgrounds, different tastes. We're all from different cultures. Um, so healthy eating is going to look different for everyone. It all really comes down to portion control. You want about one to two cups of vegetables um, per meal. Uh, for protein, you're looking at anywhere between three and five ounces, depending on your body size. And then for whole grains, about one cup of whole grains per meal as well. A lot of times I find that people want to eliminate a certain group because they feel like that's a bad food. Um, but all of the food groups provide different nutrients. And so in order to make sure you don't have any deficiencies, you need to be including all all of the food groups. The ticket for produce is the deeper the color, the better for you. To avoid food boredom, switch up the fruits and vegetables. When you're shopping, you want to try to shop the perimeter of the store. That's where you're going to find your produce, your fresh meat, your dairy, your eggs. Um, you want to try to stay away from the middle aisles. That's where you're going to find a lot of your prepackaged, processed type foods that are very high in calories, fat, sodium, preservatives. There's a time for cake or for something fried, but when you go out to eat, Grassi says, choose the same portion as what you'd eat at your own kitchen table. A lot of times you may eat light the rest of, you know, the whole day to eat a larger meal then, and you want to try to avoid that. Another crucial part to nutrition is checking the label. Start with the serving size, then move on to trans fat. Trans fat is a man-made fat added to increase the shelf life and preserve the quality of food. You want zero grams. Then look at sodium, 8% or lower is the goal. Finally, added sugars, less than 10% of daily value, five grams or less per serving is ideal. It's actually um, very simple. So healthy eating is not elaborate, I would say. Um, there's not a whole lot of ingredients to add. The month of March meant for nutrition awareness, opening the door for healthy habits even once April comes. Now, Grassi tells me another great way to promote healthy eating is starting your children young. Maybe spend Sunday afternoons meal prepping for the week ahead.